Hello everyone, my name is Max. This video is going to be relatively short because I'm just going to teach you the different ways of pronouncing O-U-G-H. Well, there are 10 different ways of pronouncing this combination of letters, so it probably won't be that short, but don't panic because I'm only going to teach you eight of these pronunciations. Yeah, there's a big difference between 8 and 10. Basically, two of the pronunciations are only found in Scottish and Irish words, and I hadn't actually heard of these words before I did research for this video. So yes, we're just going to focus on 8. Pronunciation number 1. O. Oh, like in the word go. This is found in words like although, though, and dough. Dough like in cookie dough ice cream. Uh, if you haven't heard the word dough or if you've seen it but you didn't know what it meant, dough is the mixture of wet and dry ingredients that you then put in the oven to make bread or cookies. The word d-o-e, dough, is pronounced exactly the same way, but d-o-e is a female deer. Do a deer, a female deer. Yes, I've probably seen The Sound of Music a few too many times. Number two. Oo, like in the words two and loo. What is a loo? A loo is just a polite British way of saying toilet. The only word you'll probably come across that has O-U-G-H and the sound oo is through. Very easy. The third pronunciation is off, just like the word off, O, double F. Some examples include cough and trough. A trough is a container roughly this size that farm animals, particularly pigs, eat or drink out of. So if you want to insult somebody, instead of saying, enjoy your lunch, you could just say, enjoy your trough. Number four, uff, like in the word suffer. You find this in words such as enough and tough. Tough, like uh, difficult or strong. The fifth pronunciation is ow, which is like in the word cow. This is found in the word plow. I don't think there are many other words that have this. A plow is a machine or instrument. Uh, in the past, cows or bulls pulled this. Uh, go look it up because I grew up in the city. Number six, or, like in the word jaw, this is your jaw. There was also a movie that came out several decades ago with a very realistic looking shark and it was called Jaws. This is found in words uh, like ought, fought and thought. Number seven. Uh, just like in the words above and about. This is the schwa sound. It's uh. I know it might sound like I'm burping. That's because I'm using my throat. There's a glottal stop in that. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry, because I'm going to do a video purely on the schwa sound. We use it a lot in English. Some examples of a U G H pronounced as uh are in borough and thorough. Once again, though, the Americans pronounce this somewhat differently. For borough and thorough, they use the first pronunciation, which is O, like in go. And number eight. Mm, you'll love this one. Well, it is actually pretty easy to remember, to be honest, because there's only one word. The word is hiccup. What is a hiccup? A hiccup is when, for example, you 
laugh too much or you drink too quickly and you're making sounds like <laughs> Anyway, those are hiccups. Some people do spell this word H-I-C-C-U-P because after all it is pronounced hiccup, up, like up and down, but most people still spell it H-I-C-C-O-U-G-H -C -C because in English we love logic. That's it guys, I hope you learned something. If you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions or queries regarding pronunciation or anything for that matter, provided it's related to English, don't hesitate to write some comments down below. Alternatively, you can find out for yourself. Yes, the internet is a wonderful place and there are some very good online dictionaries these days. Some that I often use are dictionary.com, dict.cc, word reference, of course, but my two personal favorites are Wiktionary and the free dictionary. On these last two, you can find audio files with both British and American pronunciation, and those exist for most words. See you next time.